Okay, so this is a quick video on this American Standard toilet that I was having a considerable amount of problems with for a long time. Um, and it was the flow. There was the, would, the flow would not flush anything down. Um, so the first thing I thought it may have been uh, was this cartridge here. And I had the company send me a new one, which I've now replaced. Um, so they basically just turn in, okay? Turn in and out like so, and you can pull them out. All right, let's put that back in. Fits in the groove, and you just turn back in, okay? Um, so one thing about these cartridges that confuse everyone is this, at least I was confused trying to research it, this here, um, you want to have all the way down, okay, which will give you the best flow. Uh, I believe the manual says set it at two, which is here, but I found definitely the best flow is put it all the way down, okay. Um, and this side, the same thing. This is the low flow side, and this is the or the low flush side. This is the high flush side. Now, this again, you can pull this on all this side all the way down if you want a better um low flush but the high flush is the important one this one here which literally pulls the when you push down it just pulls the plunger out and simulates the old style toilets where you would pull the the, the little flipper would come up okay so that's one thing to know. however that did not fix my problem um so a couple things while we're here a couple things that can be adjusted. This here, um, you want to turn, if you want to increase your flow, you want to turn this all the way uh, counterclockwise, which will um, set this to allow more water to come in. So it's basically the float, okay? So I put it in, put it all the way. So if you turn it this way, you can turn it both ways, but turn it all the way this way. Sorry, actually, it's uh, you're going to go clockwise. Okay, when it's clockwise, it's in its maximum position, which will put the water line up around here somewhere. Okay, if you don't want as much, then you can turn this and it'll bring the water line down further. But when you have a low flush situation like I did, you want to definitely turn it clockwise not counterclockwise but clockwise until it's all the way up to allow more water into this this here can also be adjusted on these and i believe that's to set the water level in the bowl it didn't really increase the flow whatsoever but um I, that increases the water level remaining in the bowl okay all right i'm making this video because this was really um a tough situation to resolve so it's a relatively new toilet well not new maybe five or six years uh, but it's in great shape and i certainly didn't want to replace the toilet um so one thing that you can be aware of is i'll see if i can turn this up this camera and you can see around the rim on the inside there are very small holes okay I'll see if I can get a shot of those. I don't know. Let's see. Okay, so there's there's some holes. And those holes allow water to come down all the way around the rim. And they're quite small in this particular model. One thing I found is they definitely block up with mineral deposits. So I bought these, this uh, lock pick. These are for lock picking. And I can actually get them up inside of those holes. Um, there's one there. And I can, you know, turn it and get any mineral deposit out. So you just bring it along until you find a hole. Or you can use a mirror. There's a hole there. Okay. And you move it along. And you'll find several holes. There's another one I'm up inside. And you can clear out mineral deposits. Now, there's another one over here. They're all the way around. They're, they're approximately 
perhaps an inch away from each other. A little bit hard to find without a mirror, but you can also stick a mirror down there. Okay, and there I just found another one. So I get it up and I just clean out any mineral deposit, calcium that gets up in there. Okay, so that's one thing you can do. You can clear all of those. But I was still having a serious issue. And what it was, definitely massive mineral deposits. I could not believe the amount of mineral deposit in this uh, toilet. Um, so what you can do is you can drain all your water out by just squeezing it into a bucket and take all your water out. And then last night, I filled this toilet up with a cleaning vinegar, okay? And I let it sit overnight. And this morning, um, I had a lot of um, mineral deposit sitting on the bottom. And uh, it was quite substantial. And at that point, I thought, well, great, I think I've got it. However, I didn't. What was going on was um, there were still mineral deposits in there, and I wasn't certain. Um, but where they were was right in here in the, this hole here, which brings the water in. And that was plugged solid. Um, and it's difficult to tell because you're not sure. You can, you can feel up inside and you can go, okay, I can get my finger up. But there was a considerable amount of mineral deposit in there. And so I let it sit with some CLR. I filled, you can pour the CLR down in here or you can take this off and pour it directly down and this, let the CLR sit in there. I let vinegar and a CLR solution sit in there. Let it sit for about eight hours today after, you know, last night letting it sit overnight with the cleaning vinegar. Um, and I noticed that there wasn't any residual in the bottom after I sat it with, with the uh, CLR. So then what I did is like I got, I got a tool, um, Okay, you know, for prying nails. And I went inside here and I started, at first it wouldn't, I, I wasn't sure if it was the actual toilet or not until a chunk came out. And this is some of the chunks that were coming out of there. This is like a rock, okay? Um, and you can see there's, all these were in there. And I was surprised because Last night, there was a much residual, a lot of that in the bottom, although it was, wasn't really clumpy, look, it was more like a sheet. So it was obviously peeling off the sides or descaling it. But in here today, I got my finger up in there and I started feeling and going, oh, that doesn't feel smooth like porcelain. Okay, so then I thought, well, that, that's got to be mineral deposit. But, you know, I didn't want to bust a hole through the porcelain. Um, so I wasn't sure how much force I could apply. Um, so I stuck a few tools up inside. Uh, this is another one of those lock pick things that fit on. And I got that in and I managed to scrape it for a minute and all of a sudden a piece broke off. And I thought, there we go. Now it's, I know it's just mineral deposit, but there was a significant amount. Um, I couldn't actually believe how much, and it, it it holds very well to the walls, so it takes a lot of force. Keep in mind, this was sitting for, you know, 14 hours with vinegar that didn't come off, and that's the cleaning vinegar, which is usually double strength. And then today, for at least, I don't know, six to eight hours with CLR, and um, so I used CLR and vinegar, and I let it sit in a bowl and that didn't take it off. So I was surprised how hard that was to come off. And it, finally it broke off. And once a chunk broke off and I was able to look at it, I could verify, yep, that was, you know, it's rock hard. And um, then I knew, okay, all of that in there is in fact, what I was feeling with my fingers was actually chunks. So I worked at picking it off um, and scraping it off and, you know, pushing it with my fingers and, Sure enough, it dislodged, and uh, now I've got incredible flow.
uh, finally. So anyway, that's how I solve this problem. I hope this helps um, some of you guys out there with this low flow issue when things aren't going down, when you can't get even toilet paper to go down. I mean, it wasn't even moving. So that was the issue. Complete blockage, more than you could have imagined. And the surprising thing is I don't have a lot of calcium in my water here. I'm on a town water source, but yet it just build up and seem to stick really well to the porcelain. So tonight, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some more CLR in there and I'm going to let it soak overnight again. And um, because I can still feel, you know, if I put my finger in there, it's pretty well clean, but I can still feel some of it on the walls. Um, you know, so I'm going to try to descale the rest of that. And, uh, I, I tried a little while ago. I'll show later. I'll show how this is going to flush in, uh, uh, maybe a couple minutes. Um, I'll add it to this video and you can see how well it's flushing. Now I had just tried it and it's flushing. It's flushing like it's brand new. So again, hope this helps. Take care. Okay. So I've let the, uh, CLR sit for another evening, um, actually overnight. And I see there's a bit of residual still that has peeled off, not too much, but um, I'm just gonna show you the, uh, the first scale. So this was some of the scaling that came off um, just from the, seal, uh, from the vinegar, the cleaning vinegar overnight, the, the very first time. And, You'll see that it's um, thin-walled, okay? Um, so it's sort of descaled it. You can see it's relatively thin. This is what came off initially um, before I started scraping in the, uh, in the uh, hole there. And then the bigger chunks came out from in there that had to be poked off the wall. Okay, so that's that. Um, so I filled the uh, toilet back up, turned the water supply back on. And uh, let's give it a flush and see what happens here. Okay. That's, that's terrific. So it's as good as new.